Okay, so the next thing, after you've learned how to build power, is how to build your accuracy. So again, working with a horizontal spin, when you want to throw for someone, where, you, where your hand follows through is where the ball is going to go. So I'll give you an example. If I want to throw towards someone's ankles, I'm going to throw it and follow my arm through to my upper leg, somewhere around here between my knee and my hip. So I'm going to follow through to that area and it's going to force it to be a very, it's going to force it into a lower throw. So, down here it goes towards the ankles. If I want to throw towards someone's midsection, so if I'm aiming for the hip and up, I'm going to bring my hand into the lower part of my ribs. So between my hip and my ribs is where I'm going to aim for if I want to get the ball in towards their central body. Now if I'm aiming for the shoulder, which most of the time you won't do because it's more dangerous because you might get a headshot, but if I'm aiming for the shoulder, you follow your hand through to your shoulder and it'll force the ball to that general direction. So I'm going to go through that one more time. Shooting for the ankles, you follow your hand through to the lower leg. If you're aiming for the midsection, you follow your hand through to your ribs. And if you're aiming for a shoulder shot, you follow through and bring your hand up to your shoulder. Now most of the time you're not going to necessarily follow all the way through. When I'm fighting in a game, I will only follow through a small amount, so if I'm shooting low, I'll only bring my hand to here, but the follow through continues in the direction towards my leg. And same with to the ribs and same with to the shoulders. But work on getting the full follow through all the way to your leg, hip or shoulder for the moment, and get that right before you start cutting it back and making it more sneaky.